Unlike the U.S. president who highlighted the possibility of the June 12th event not taking place, his secretary of state had a more optimistic view. Mike Pompeo pledged Washington will put in the very best effort to make sure the planned summit is a success. Cha Sangmi zooms in on the ex-Intel chief's positive perspective. Speaking to reporters at the State Department on Tuesday, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said he hasn't seen anything to give the Trump administration, quote, pause about the scheduled June 12th summit. We're preparing. We're continuing to do our work and lay the foundation for a successful meeting. I'm, I'm confident we'll get there. Uh, with respect to uh, Chairman Kim, I, I haven't spoken publicly about the conversations we've had. Pompeo's remarks came a matter of hours after President Trump suggested the summit may not take place next month in Singapore. President Moon Jae-in had earlier met with Pompeo and U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton as his first official itinerary in Washington. According to Pool reports, President Moon expressed his appreciation for President Trump's top advisors for foreign affairs and national security as they prepare for the upcoming Pyongyang-Washington summit. <laughs> During their 15-minute long meeting, President Moon called on Pompeo and Bolton to speed up preparations to make the Pyongyang-Washington summit a successful one that ultimately puts all parties on the road to the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. In response, the U.S. official said the Kim-Trump meeting was their highest priority, and they are looking forward to working alongside South Korea to achieve a really good outcome with North Korea. Regarding the recent negative shift in tone from Pyongyang, President Moon stressed that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's determination to hold a successful summit with the U.S. is resolute nevertheless. The meeting came a couple of hours before President Moon sat down for his face-to-face -face with President Trump in the Oval Office. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.